Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time, we went over a few basic guidelines for interpreting the Bible, and now, are there any verses that the Church has official interpretations for? Well, that question depends on what you mean by official interpretation. If you mean the Church says you can only interpret the verse to mean this and nothing else, the answer would be no. No matter what the Catholic Church may say about a given verse, it's always possible to find more hidden truths within it, provided that those truths don't conflict with church teaching, which would indicate that they're not truths after all. There are, however, a few verses in the Bible where the Church has declared that whatever else they may mean, they at least mean the following. John 3, 5 mentions being born of water and the Spirit. This is most definitely a reference to baptism. Luke 22.19 and 1 Corinthians 11.24 have Jesus telling the disciples to do this in memory of me. This definitely implies that Jesus is appointing the apostles to be priests and to consecrate the bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus, the primary role of a priest. Matthew 18.18 18 and John 20.22-23 20, show Jesus giving the apostles the authority to forgive sins through his divine authority. However, this is a magnanimous gift to them, and not everyone receives this gift from Jesus. Romans 5.12 refers to how the sin of Adam brought original sin to all people, a sin that they need to have removed from them by God. James 5.14 refers to people who are specially appointed, the ordained, and not just to older members of the church. As long as those interpretations are respected and we avoid heresies, we're already on our way to interpreting the scriptures correctly. We really have a lot of freedom in that area and can interpret the Bible in any way that's consistent with these simple rules. The saints used to write things like that all the time. Next time, do we need to decrease so that God can increase? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.